The tax work that we do in connection with um, the financial planning for our clients includes looking at ways to minimize estate tax for those clients who have a taxable estate. We have, uh, for many of our clients, suggested grantor retained annuity trusts to put their equities in. And that's a way of getting the increase in the value of your estate out of your estate and to the next generation without any estate tax when the markets go up. When the markets go down, you don't lose anything, you just keep everything that you had, but right now the applicable federal rate is 2%, and that means that any earnings on the portfolio in excess of 2% for those clients who have taxable estates and want to reduce their estates, we can create a grant to retain annuity trust that will shift those earnings in excess of 2% to their children or grandchildren without any gift tax currently or any estate tax in the future. And it'll allow them to continue to have the privilege of paying taxes on that money so that their children or grandchildren's money grows tax-free. We've also suggested to our clients that they consider charitable lead annuity trusts and charitable remainder trusts. These are important tax planning vehicles. Sometimes we find that a charitable remainder trust makes sense even where the client has no charitable motivation because they're able to defer taxes for many years and that tax deferral turns into tax forgiveness even though they may not be particularly excited about giving to charity. Obviously, if they are very charitably motivated, then this is a home run. It, it works tremendously well. But even if they're not, a charitable remainder trust can provide income tax benefits immediately uh, that avoid the, the capital gains tax and get a current charitable contribution deduction, even though you're getting an income from that investment for the rest of your life upon the sale. The opposite of a charitable remainder trust is a charitable lead trust. We use charitable lead trusts not for income tax savings primarily, but for estate tax savings. And we can show people that with today's low applicable federal rates of 2% approximately, it changes every month, that they can give money to charity and to their children, and their children are actually better off than if they gave the money directly to the children. It's hard to believe, but one and one makes three here because uh, by getting the deduction up front for the charitable contribution and getting the money to the children at the parent's death or after a long period of time, all that tax-free deferral is actually better than if we gave them the money outright and they invested in themselves for the next 20 years.